Um, video day two. I guess we are doing this. We're doing this because I have a I have a laptop. Yeah, I have a laptop. Whether I like it or not, I have it. Which I don't like it. I don't like it. And not I wasn't saying that I don't have it because as you can see, um, I do have it. And I did just say that I had it. And I can see in real life. I can see on the viewfinder. I have this laptop, it is in my hands, uh, but I don't like it. I don't like the circumstances in which I had to attain this laptop. I don't like just the idea of me buying a laptop, it just kind of like grosses me out. And, and other reasons, uh, probably the main one being that as of today, which is just like super weird, all laptops are $500,000. Like just merely coincidental that it just happened to be the day that that changed is the day that I went to get a laptop. That was very disheartening when I went into Best Pie, Best Pie um, because I was like, you're a pie store, why are you selling laptops? The only one that wasn't extremely $5 million was the MacBook Air. Um, hey, this is me popping in from a different day, another the next morning. Uh, just to say thanks to everyone who has donated to helping me uh, pay off this laptop, which I did end up buying, but, uh, you know, the money is gone, so it does help. Um, but I'm also, like, editing this video in the wake of what happened in Las Vegas, and then, like, combining that with, like, what's happening in Puerto Rico, and I just feel so stupid. <laughs> to be like, help me pay for this laptop when, like, I have the laptop now. So I really don't know what to do because it does, obviously your donations help because the money's gone so I, you know, I need to somehow balance it out because, to be honest, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of money, I don't have a job, this is my m main job, so you donating really, really does help. But I feel so... Selfish, I guess. I guess selfish works. So, I wanted to pose to you, because it's your money that you've donated, I wanted to pose to you how you would feel if I took um, most of that money and donated it. I just wanted to ask, because it is your money, and if I deposit it to my bank account, it would be my money, so I guess I could do that, but I didn't want you to feel like maybe you were being cheated in that, this would, but you shouldn't because it would be for a good cause, but I wanted to just fill you in on that, and so thank you so much. I'm gonna leave the GoFundMe link down below because, because my goal was $500. I think I was just, I was low balling, low balling, but we've already d made like half of that in one day, in less than 24 hours at this time, so that's really cool and, and awesome. I should probably just ask you for money all the time, but so that's my two cents about yours. <laughs> so yeah, I, I made my decision. I said I'll go with the lap, lap book air. Lap book air? Hmm. Hmm. Wrap her up. Let's, I'll take her to go. I'll get a box for it. And so I get up to the cash register and my card declines. But in my defense, it's not that I didn't have millions of dollars in my account. Uh, it was just that I had a limit on my debit card that I could spend. Unbeknownst to me, because apparently, surprise, I don't spend thousands of dollars um, just like in one go. I know, very surprising, very like out of character for me, but apparently I had a limit of $1,000 on my card. Uh, who knew? Because I, I don't... I had to run up to the bank, which was thank, thankfully just across the street. And as I'm running back, I slip. I slip in front of, uh, crossing the street, in front of just a huge, it's a very busy intersection in Vancouver. I, I slip. But I don't fall. I don't fall, but that's, in my opinion, worse when you slip but you don't fall. When you slip but you have to shake it off. That's worse to me that I would have rather broken both of my legs then had to slip and then laugh, you know, like look around and laugh and see like, <laughs> that was fun, like, 
I would have rather been in the middle of the intersection, total bottom half just disintegrated, than, than had to just like chuckle and meet, make eye contact with people passing who obviously do not care and probably have forgotten about me, which is kind of depressing on its own, just like that, people have forgotten about me. <laughs> Then I run back and I buy the laptop and I'm now the proud owner of a MacBook Air and oh just a just a hot hot tip if you want everyone to look at you carry around a brand new laptop if you want everyone to just stare at you just carry around a laptop that's I guess that's like a thing that I didn't get the memo on that uh that's like a big attention grabber. And I don't know what's going through people's minds. Like maybe they're saying, oh, you know, she, she just bought a new laptop. She must be in a stable financial position to just go up and buy a brand new laptop. Or maybe they're thinking, oh, she bought the MacBook Air. She must not be doing too well. Like, I'm sorry, am I the only one who thinks <laughs> that no, that these, these, like where's the girth? I want a little bit of girth. If I was in a restaurant, it would have gone absolutely silent at that point. I just know it. Also, I'm waiting for the bus, right? I'm waiting for the bus with, the, with my new MacBook Air and a couple handful of Boy Scouts with their pleading puppy dog eyes come up and they just look at me and they go, uh, do you want to donate to the Boy Scouts so we, we can thrive and etc. And I, um, I, I looked them dead in the eye and I said, I just dropped 1500 on this here laptop. I don't have a penny to my name, boys. And I understand that they didn't know how to react to that and that they just kind of walked away. Um, and also, how dare I, boys? I don't know what they're, like, that was so 2000 and late of me, I, gender's over, you know what I'm saying? I do have the laptop now, but, um, if you still wanted to, like, technically help me pay for it, um, you can do that because, I mean, I did disappoint a group of young children today, uh, to let you know kind of, like, where I'm standing financially. So, very sweaty, very sorry, um, to the Boy Scouts. Should we unbox her? <laughs> Let's do it. I don't care. I'll do it. Woo! Also, guys, don't don't explode in the comments saying you could have bought a used laptop. You could have gotten a payment plan. You could have done this. You could have done that. I know that. Honestly, an excessive amount of solutions to a problem is more stressful to me than no solution at all. The easiest way for me to just get over this is to just bite the bullet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's kind of pretty. <laughs> You know what, I get it. I think I understand motherhood now. It's like you, you know, get pregnant, you carry around, you carry physically, I did that. Carry around this like being, sometimes you're worried if you're gonna love it. And then when you finally see it, you know, you give birth, so to speak, you take the lid off. Um, you're just like overwhelmed with this kind of maternal feeling that you have never felt before. Um, so I under, yeah, I understand motherhood now because this is actually very beautiful. Okay, look at her. Drops it. Name's daughter MacBook Air. Like, hello. Mwah. Ow. She bit me. <laughs> All right, so there you go. I gotta go. Get ready. It's Matt's premiere tonight. Matt and Hayes' movie is premiering tonight at VIF, Vancouver International Film Festival. So I have to uh, prepare. <laughs> They'd changed, but they hadn't physically changed. They hadn't changed like it's the same place but it had changed on another on another level right on a, on a different plane where now uh it wasn't it wasn't the same place she was before so. oh, thank you so much yeah home sense yeah hey, it was the production designer as well so home sense produced the film <laughs> and on that note, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for staying. Thank you to our filmmakers.